this is Suzanne and it's Thursday which I have taken as my day because I don't have any classes on Friday so that means that I don't have to do any homework on Thursdays. I don't give a shit about the VMAs. Sorry, excuse my language but really they're boring. I watched them last year for the first year ever and it was like, eh, okay, that's fun. But, yeah, I don't, I don't really care about the VMAs at all. I mean, I did watch a couple of the Lady Gaga clips, because I'll admit I do love Lady Gaga. She's awesome. And those are pretty funny, but seriously, I mean, you watch for like five hours for like two minutes of interesting stuff. Uh, Jesse, Twitter. I love Twitter, but you have an addiction. You need, you need help. Um, thanks for telling me about Kanye's tweet fest, but, I mean, it's nothing compared to the tweet fest you have every day. I'm here for you, though. I will help you in any way possible to get over Twitter. <laughs> also, the little brush wavy thing distracted me. I didn't hear a word you said while you were waving the brush around. <laughs> Anyways, I love you, Jesse. But, <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, oh yeah, you've tortured me a lot this week with Katy Perry. I'm gonna get you for that. You know, you're gonna regret torturing me with Katy Perry all week. <gasps> Also, you do need to finish that book because we do need to get started on our Harry Potter scarves. The premiere is only like two months away as of, wait, today's the 16th, right? So let's see, the 19th will be Sunday. It's only two months away as of Sunday and I don't really remember how to knit. So, it's gonna take a while. We need to get started on those. And just to let everybody know, Jesse might be Gryffindor, blah blah blah, loyal, just shit. Slytherin for the win. Um, <clears throat> let's see, what's my favorite pop song? Well, first of all, I have this question that I've been thinking of all week after watching Jesse's video on Monday. How exactly do you define pop music? Because pop is just like an abbreviation for popular, right? Well, what exactly would you clarify, like, what would you qualify as popular music? Because, I mean, there's a lot of, like, screamo and stuff like that that's really popular. A lot of people listen to it. And it's not categorized as pop, like... You know, when you listen to the radio, it's not like, this is pop music with the used. I mean, <laughs> so that's my question. Like, what are you going to categorize pop as? Or cate what are you going to put in the category of pop music? Because that might change my answer. But <laughs> uh, judging by what I guess is probably what you mean. I'm gonna say my favorite pop song is Monster by Lady Gaga, because I love that song. Describes how I feel. I don't have Netflix. I use Jessie's Netflix. Haha. <laughs> uh, way to get around the system. But, uh, the first movie that I put on our Netflix queue is, um, Northern Exposure Season 4. You should watch Northern Exposure if you haven't. It's a lovely show, full of quirky people. It's satirical, you know. It actually takes brain power to watch. Ed, I do love your nails. Check out mine. The nail polish is kind of coming off, but it's mesmerizing. It's like purple and sparkles. Alice, I love hummus. It's delicious. My mom makes really good hummus. It's really good. Oh. You live by a train station? That's so exciting. I would, I'd, I would never, god, I would be so, like, I don't know, antsy all the time because I would just want to hop on a train and go somewhere. Oh yeah, Alice, you also asked a question. Um, what 
are or have we eaten for lunch. I just had lunch. Uh, I had chicken nuggets. So I've decided that um, each of my vlogs I'm going to do kind of a mu movie review type thing. The Reader. Um, it was an amazing movie. Like, it was, it was definitely on, like, it went up to my top list. <laughs> um, it's about, I don't want to give anything away, but it has Voldemort or Ralph Fiennes. <laughs> that was a really funny face. But, uh, he's one of my favorite actors. He's amazing. He's in Onyegin, which is another really, really good film you should watch. Um, and it also had Kate, uh, Kate Winslet, who is an amazing actress as well. You probably know her from Titanic, which means, you know, you just remember her naked body. Uh, she gets naked in this film too. Hey, best of both worlds. But anyways, she's an amazing actress. So, um, they really just had good actresses and actors in that movie. It was... It was amazing, and it had a really interesting plot. Like, I had no idea what it was about going into it, and it just surprised me, and it was just awesome. So, you should definitely watch it. Um, it's, n you know, it's not a lighthearted film. Uh, it's definitely serious and heart-wrenching instead of lighthearted, <laughs> you know? But uh, it's very good. You should watch it. So, that's all for today. Bye, world!